Howdy ho guys, Mark Epson here. Hope you're having a great and wonderful day. You know, lots of people ask me about lights for video and photography and what type of light kit would be best for them. Well, if you do video, if you do photography, you know that light is essential for lighting your subject or your set. And you gotta have good lighting. If you don't have good lighting, you're not gonna get a good product on your video or your photography. Well, I thought in this video, we'll actually talk about what light kit is best for you. Now, there are a variety of different types of lights that are available for your photography and your video needs. One particular one, and it's the most popular, is called a halogen quartz light. These lights are cheap. The bulbs last for a long time, uh, but they get relatively hot. Uh, and use a lot of power. But one of the major pluses of using halogen light is they're very bright. So they brightly light your set for video or photography. The second type of light is a fluorescent light. Fluorescent lights have actually come up in popularity over the last few years. Uh, one of the major factors for that is because you can buy them for outdoor light or indoor light. Outdoor light being sunlight, which is 5600 Kelvin, and indoor light, which is being 3200 Kelvin. Um, they're relatively cool. They last for a long time. The bulbs definitely do. Uh, they don't use much power, which is a plus when you're lighting a set because you can use a lot of power with some of the other lights. Some of the cons though, you gotta use a lot of fluorescent bulbs to actually get something lit and they can be a little bit more expensive than the halogen light. The third type of light is an incandescent light. Now, incandescent lights, you know those because they're your common light bulb that's in a lamp at your house. They're very cheap and they can be used for video, but the cons of them are they don't put off much light and they really don't look that professional. The fourth type of light is HMI lights. HMI lights. What can I say about them? They're very nice. Uh, big studios use them to light indoor studios to actually make them look like outdoor light because they get that 5600 Kelvin look. But they're very expensive. Well, we've discussed the different light types. Now we need to talk about light manipulation. If you buy a light kit, there are two basic types of things that are gonna come with your kit for light manipulation. The first one is a drag light or a spotlight or hard light. This hard light uh, ranges anything from a floodlight to a narrow beam focusing light. We manipulate that type of light by actually using something called barn doors. And barn doors uh, fold in and out and you're able to direct the light. The second type of light manipulation is called diffused light. Diffused light is a soft light that hits your subject and actually fills in some of the harsh shadows. Now, there's a multitude of ways to create diffused light, like you can actually reflect light off the ceiling, uh, uh, anything of that nature, and it will diffuse the light back onto your subject. But there, the two most common things that are used to diffuse light are umbrellas and soft boxes. Now that you know the light manipulation, the light types, you need to know what to consider when purchasing your kit. There's a wide variety of factors to take into consideration before you actually put down that hard-earned cash and buy a light kit. The first one is, is it portable? Because you need a light kit that's portable. Second is, does it come with stands? Does it come with accessories like the barn door and the soft box? Because you're really gonna need those things. When you're considering buying a light kit, flexibility is of the utmost importance. What I thought I would do is kinda discuss some of the light kits that we have behind us here. You know, you're a consumer, you're actually looking for a light kit, and you like to know some of the pros and cons of it. Well, I thought we would do that in this section of the video. The first light that we're going to discuss is Old Faithful. It's the work light. The work light is very inexpensive. It uses a halogen bulb. It creates a lot of light, um, so you light your set very well. It's semi-portable. That means you can kind of fold it up and take it with you, but it's not as portable as a pro light kit. Some of the cons about it are the light is a floodlight. You can't really do too much about it. The stand is relatively small. It's not that tall, and um, it doesn't look that professional. The light kit right behind me here is the QL 1000 watt lights. You've probably seen me do a review on this in the past. It's a great light kit. 
it's great because it's 1000 watts ample amount of halogen light to uh to light your set and it's variable and the variable part means you can have it cranked all the way up or turn it quite almost down to no light at all it's fan cooled therefore when it gets hot it cools it down and um it keeps any overheating factors from actually happening to your lights it comes with six and a half foot stands to give you that extra dimension you need for shooting your subject. It's a pro kit, it comes with bags, so you can put everything in there. Uh, it looks really professional and your client will love that and you'll love to show your client that. The kit comes with a optional soft box, which is 32 by 32 inches. And it also comes with an optional reflector and barn doors, so you can have a spotlight to control your light. Now, there aren't that many cons about this kit. Um, the primary con is the fan cooled lamp. It's kind of a double edged sword. If you're shooting video that um, you need a very, very, very quiet environment, you might want to look at something besides the fan cooled stuff and go with an air cooled light. Um, this light, of course, if you're fan cooled and you're shooting photography, you don't have to worry about it at all. So, this is ideal for photography. If you're shooting video where it's fast-paced action, it's a talk show, you got a lot of stuff going on, you won't have any problems with this kit. The next kit we're gonna look at is the MX series. Now, the MX series is almost identical to the QL1000 series that we just took a look at, except that the MX series is air-cooled. It's not fan-cooled. What does this mean? Well, if you're actually shooting in very quiet situations, the air cooled is the way to go because there's no fan light. Um, the way it's set up, it's it's variable, but it's not really variable. The stands that come with the MX series are seven feet tall, which are a little bit taller than the QL 1000 series, and it does come with a soft box. It also comes with accessories for a barn door and also a boom, but you can get those two on the QL 1000 series. Now there aren't that many cons about the. MX series lights, I mean, except for the fact that they're halogen and they get really hot and they use a lot of power, but they're really good lights for video, so you might want to check them out. And we have here the Cool Flow light. Now, the Cool Flow light's a fluorescent light, and uh, fluorescent lights have come a long way. More and more people are using them for video and photography. Uh, this light here it has four different lights. Uh, it comes with a variety of accessories to create uh, different ways of lighting your set, whether it's a diffused light or a direct light. Uh, the pros on it are it doesn't use much power. Um, you can actually use this with sunlight because this is a 5600 Kelvin bulb. So you can use this light along with natural light and light your subject, which is a really cool thing to do because a lot of light kits can't do that. Some of the cons, you've got to use a lot of bulbs to actually light something because it is fluorescent and fluorescent bulbs don't get as bright as like a halogen bulb. You know, there was one thing I forgot to talk about and let me just grab it right here. And that's strobe lights. You know, I'm actually gonna do a video for you photographers out there and concentrate on strobes, uh, flash triggers, um, you name it, so that you photographers will have a better understanding of a strobe light kit. But you know guys, we've talked about a lot of stuff today. We've talked about four different kits. We've talked about work lights. We've talked about the QL1000 series. We've talked about the MX series. And we've talked about the cool flow lights or fluorescent lights. And you know, any of these lights will work really well for your photographs or your video. But remember, when you're actually going out wanting to make a light kit or buy a light kit, think flexibility. Because you need that flexibility for creating your video or your photography because you never know what type of situation you're gonna be in. Well anyway guys, I hope you have a great evening. I'm out of here, I'm going to over here and have a big glass of water.